Introducing the world's first real holographic display, not a trick, not a headset, this is true 3D, a floating image projected directly into space. It's powered by a new model of physics called Quantum Information Holography, or QIH. QIH says that all reality is built from spinning patterns of light encoded with direction, brightness, depth and timing. This is how the universe itself renders form and now we're doing the same thing, but with light, here's how it works. Inside each display is a grid of quantum dots, each just billionths of a meter wide. These dots don't shine like regular pixels. Instead, they spin and pulse in carefully timed ways, releasing light that meets in midair. When that light overlaps just right, it interferes. And that interference creates floating points of light in real space. Each one is a voxel, a volumetric pixel. Together, hundreds of thousands of these voxels form holograms you can actually see hanging in the air. And it's not just floating shapes. Because the system is based on angular light geometry, you can walk around the image and see it change from every angle. It casts shadows. It reflects light. It's real. Will walking around it interfere with the hologram? No. The hologram is made of directed light, not laser beams. Your body doesn't block this light unless you physically place something between the emitter and the projection zone. So if someone walks around behind or beside the hologram, they're not in the way. Even walking around the front of it, unless your hand directly crosses the projection field, you won't interrupt the image. Each voxel is formed in a precise location by angular targeting. That light is tightly beamed and doesn't scatter like traditional displays. As long as you're not sticking your hand into the projection zone, the hologram remains stable. The system is also designed to handle ambient disturbances. Lighting, airflow or motion around it does not disturb the frequency or phase encoding. It has no mirrors to bounce, no lenses to shift, and each voxel is recalculated frame by frame using software and light interference. And there's a bonus. You can interact with it. If you place your hand into the field, some parts of the hologram may shimmer, dim or vanish. This can be used for gesture control like swiping or pressing buttons in midair. How is this possible? The display breaks each image into patterns of light frequency and timing. That's called a Fourier transform. It tells each quantum dot what kind of light to emit, where to point it and when to release it. The light isn't shown on a surface, it's built up in open space. And since the system only emits light where needed, it's extremely efficient. A standard True 3D panel uses less than one watt of power. That's less than a night light. It can run on battery, wall power or even wirelessly. Everything inside this display already exists today. The quantum dots are used in QLED TVs. The nanophotonic lattice is etched using standard electron beam lithography. The control software is based on real-time frequency rendering algorithms. And all of this fits inside a thin scalable sheet. No moving parts, no external projectors, just a window into light's own structure. The result is something we've only dreamed about until now. A display that renders information the way the cosmos does, directly, precisely, beautifully. This is the true 3D display, reality projected.